finally time to get back into making customs for a little while and I wanted to get started on a epic arbiter. I haven't done one in quite some time so I figured might as well make a really sick arbiter in today's video. Also if you enjoy don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and ring that notification bell helps the channel grow a lot and I really appreciate it. So I'm starting out by just doing a bunch of small green stuff work all the way around this arbiter, adding in a bunch of little detailed lines, going onto the wrist guards, and just adding in specific things that I thought would be cool. I'm also going to give him fingers on each side of his arms, just to add more detail. So I really just took my time with this figure and tried to smooth everything out the best that I could, make it look as perfect as possible, and put all the green stuff where I thought would look really cool. I wanted to give him a beefier and bulkier kind of look than some of the other Arbiters that I have made. And then I also moved on to these leg guards here. Now these were pretty simple, just some lines on the side and then I used the back of a paintbrush to make this really cool little indent. And I did that two times on the thigh guards. I thought this actually looked really awesome for how simple it was. For the shoulders, I wanted to give him one massive, beefy shoulder, make him just have a lot of protection on that side, and I thought that turned out pretty awesome. I also moved on to the back of his head. I didn't like how the figure actually looked uh, with the part that it comes with for the back of the head, so I made my own custom one. Now we're doing paint. So we're gonna be doing a blue paint job on this figure. I wanted to try blue instead of like red, or a banished arbiter or anything like that. I didn't want this to be a banished arbiter. I just wanted to see if I could make a really cool kind of blue schemed arbiter. All the pieces that I sculpted with green stuff into blue and just all the armor pieces. And then I kept a lot of areas black and I also did some black. So I'm just going to go back over in those lines with a black brush and this is going to add a lot more detail and make this character actually pop way more than I expected in the end and I'm super happy I did this. Now that that's finished, I'm going over with a dry brush of like a baby blue, very light blue. I wanted to make this kind of seem like a ice arbiter, like his armor kind of resembles ice when it comes to the cracks and everything. I don't know. I just wanted to kind of mix it up and try something really cool. So I did a blue dry brush all the way around this figure, which I thought looked really awesome already. When that was finished I went over with a white dry brush now I had to be really careful with this because this white color really smudges off super fast and it just takes over pretty much the color palette super fast but I took my time with this and did my best to make sure that any white detail that I added was very minor both of these dry brushes really came together in the end and made this figure look absolutely crazy and I'm super happy and proud of this figure actually. I'm gonna be continuing to make more awesome customs, so be looking out for those. Hope you guys enjoy.